Welcome to DVCom Technology. In this lab, I am going to show it to you how to configure tag based VLAN. So before we start the configuration, let's go and understand my laptop policy. Then after that, I'm going to follow the task number one, two, three. Let's go and see this. If you see here in my lab, we have a Dretec 2962 router and on port number three, our PC is directly connected there. And by default, the port number three is belongs to the LAN and the network is configured as 192.168.1.0 network. And DHCP is, is enabled on that. So that's why I'm going to get the IP address from the DHCP. So this is, I'm going to use it for my management purpose. And port number four, what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect it to my layer two switch. Under my layer two switch, I'm going to connect on port number 48. So port number 48 in my layer two switch, I already configured as a tagged port. So this port, which is going to carry all the VLANs information from my layer two switch to my Dretec router. In my layer two switch, I have configured three VLANs, VLAN number 10, VLAN number 20, and VLAN number 30. After that, what I've done, I shifted the port number one and two or belongs to VLAN number 10, port number three and four or belongs to VLAN number 20, port number five and six or belongs to VLAN number 30. So basically, the Dretec 2962 router is going to act as a gateway for VLAN number 10, 20, and 30. Now I'm going to show it to you step by step how we need to complete this lab. So the first task is that access the router with the default IP, username and password. So the default IP address for the Dretec router 192.168.1.1. So first of all, let's go and check it whether I can able to reach my router or not. So for that, ping 192.168.1.1. So I have a successful reachability. Then after that, open the browser and type the IP address as 192.168.1.1. Then enter the default username and password. The default username is admin. Default password is admin. Then after that, click login. Once you log in, at first time you are finding a warning. Your router is still set to default password. You should change it via the system maintenance menu. Then click OK. So now what I'm going to do as per my second task, I'm going to change the default admin password. So to change that, go to system maintenance, then click on the administrator password and specify the old password and specify the new password and confirm the same password. Then after that, you can go down, then click OK. Now we have done successfully changes of the password. Now for verification, log out from the router and type the username as admin and type the new password. Then click login. So, so far you have done it. Then after that, change the date and time. So to change the date and time, go to the system maintenance, then click on the time and date then after that, if you see here, your date and time is going to sync with your NTP server. So in case if you have any local NTP server, you can specify that IP address as well. But directly I'm going to sync with my internet. But unfortunately here, my router didn't connect to the internet. That's why I'm not able to get any updated date and time. So before you are going to add the NTP server, make sure that you need to have a internet access. So now, Let's go and check the time zone. Then after that, specify the time zone as plus four. So which is Abu Dhabi and Muscat. Then after that, click OK. That's it. Now, let's go and verify that whether you have connected to the internet or not. So to connect to the internet, let's click on the WAN interface and go to the general setup. So for to terminate your WAN connection, we have two interfaces. The first one is that P1. And second one is that P2. So right now I have a single internet connection. That connection I'm going to terminate to P1. So now let's go to the internet access. Then after that, connect to your internet cable. So 
So I have connected the internet cable successfully. Then after that you can go to the details page. Now by default the DHCP is enabled. So that's why I got the public IP from my service provider. But as per my topology, we need to assign the IP address as 195.229.219.2. So let's go and do that. Then after that, the gateway is 195.229.219.1. Then after that, so here by default, it has taken the IP address dynamically, but I want to assign as a static. So to assign the static public IP, specify an IP address. You need to select specify an IP address. Then in case if you want to change the DNS, you can able to change it. Then after that, you can go down, then click OK. Now you can say OK. So now my router is going to reboot and it's going to come back very quick. Now, see here. Router has come back as much as fast. Now you just enter your username with the new password. So, so far I have completed task number one, two, and three, as well as I have connected the internet as well. And for the verification, the date and time is correct or not, if you see here, there is a current date and time. If you see here, Sunday, November 15, 2020, 8.24. This is the current time. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show it to you the remaining tasks. So the remaining task is that configuration of LAN interface. So as I mentioned to you, Port number 4, which is going to connect it from my Dretic router to my layer 2 switch on port number 48. So I need to carry all the VLANs information through port number 48 to on port number 4. So for this, what I'm going to do now, let's go and access my router. Then after that, go to the LAN. Then click on the general setup for you to understand this. So if you see here, by default, port number 3, port number 4, port number 5, port number 6, all these interfaces are belongs to LAN. And if you connect any one of the interface, by default, you are going to get the, the DHCP IP address from 192.168.1 1 network. So the default IP address for your router is 192.168.1.1. 1 .1. So here my plan is that, I just want to explain to you guys again. So now, if you see here, Okay, let's go and see, show it to my laptop policy so that it's more clear for you. So if you see here, port number one is already connected to the internet in my Dretech router. And port number four, what I'm going to do now, which I'm going to connect it to my layer two switch and I'm going to configure it as a tagged port so that it's going to talk to all the VLANs. That's what the my main concern. And port number three, it's already connected to my admin PC and I got the IP address from 192.168.1.0 network. So port number three, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use it for the management purpose. But port number four, if you see there, I'm going to use to carry the VLANs information because so far I have configured VLAN number 10 and VLAN number 20 and VLAN number 30. So for these three VLANs, I'm going to configure the Dretech router as a gateway. So this is what I'm going to do. So since the Dretech router has to carry multiple VLANs information, which is VLAN number 10, 20, and 30. So for that, what I'm going to do now, let's go to the Dretech router and click on the VLAN. So now if you see here, enable the VLAN configuration. So now port number three, port number five, and port number six. So since these three interfaces are belongs to the same subnet, I don't want to enable any LAN. Then after that, go to port number four, and you can enable the VLAN. So now I'm going to keep this one into VLAN number two, for example, LAN two, and I'm going to say, you or belongs to VLAN number 10, LAN two. Now port number four, I'm going to tag another LAN and I'm going to give you 20. Then after that, 
with land number 3 then I am going to select land number 4 and I am going to tag with land number 30 it's very simple guys so since port number 3 port number 5 and port number 6 are belongs to the same LAN okay same LAN and these by default is going to get the IP addresses 192.168.1.0 network. So you can connect any one of these interfaces and you can able to get the IP address from 192.168.1.0 and you can able to access your router. And if you connect it to port number 4, since port number 4 what I have done, I make it as a tagged port. So if you see here, I tag to VLAN number 10, VLAN number 20 and VLAN number 30. So which is going to carry these three VLANs information. So, so far I have enabled it. Then after that I, I, have, an, I have assigned the subnets LAN 2 for VLAN number 10, LAN 3 for VLAN number 20, LAN 4 for VLAN number 30. So based on that later I am going to change the subnets. So first you need to understand that. So through port number 4 I am going to carry all the VLANs information from my layer 2 switch. Now let's go and say OK. Now click OK. Now if you see here 2, 3 and 4 is enabled now and the router is going to reboot and it's going to come back. So to verify that you can just type 192.168.1.1. So now my router is going to come back now as much as fast because since I have connected on port number 3. So just refresh, that's it, then after that go to the admin and type the password. Then after that click login. So now the concern is that, let's go back to the LAN and click on the general setup. Now if you see here there is three interfaces as showing. So now I have to do the physical connection. So if you want to see the dashboard, right now I have connected my internet and my P3 interface which is for my management purpose. Now P4 interface as per my laptop policy I am going to connect on port number 48. Since port number 48 we configured as a tagged port inside my layer 2 switch. So let's go and do that. So now what I am going to do now I am going to take a cable and I am going to connect it on port number 4 then after that I am going to connect it to port number 48 at my layer 2 switch. Perfect. Now let's go to my LAN then click on the general setup. Then here if you see here by the way on the dashboard if you see here on the dashboard now port number 4 is connected. But did you notice one important thing here this 2962 is going to have support 10 Mbps, 100 Mbps, 1 gig and the beauty of this 2.5 gig guys. So in case if you have a 2.5 gig ports which means this is multi gig. This is multi gig router guys. This is the beauty of 2962. Multi gig router. Either you can connect it with 10 Mbps or 100 Mbps or 1000 Mbps or 2.5 gig. Whenever if you see here it's a orange color which means either it can be a 10 Mbps or 100 Mbps port. Whenever it's showing as a green color which means it's a 1 Gbps port. In case if it is showing in sign color it will be like 2.5 Gbps. Thank you Dretech. It's very wonderful guys. 2.5 Gbps means it's very nice. Okay. Now let's go back to my LAN interface then click on the general setup. Then now for LAN 2 I need to use it for VLAN number 10. So for that we need to change the subnet. As per my lab topology I need to use 192.168.10 network for VLAN number 10. Then for VLAN number 20 which is last 24 guys. For VLAN number 20 I am going to use 20 network. For VLAN number 30 I am going to use 30 network. So these are the changes I need to do it now. So let's go back to my Dretech router. Then first change it LAN 2 interface which is associated to VLAN number 10. So click on the details page. 
and specify the name here as villa number 10. So now make it 10.1 as the gateway and I just want to make start the IP address is 10.10 .10. then and 10.1 is the gateway and I want to specify the primary DNS server. So I want to give secondary is same which is provided by my service provider then click OK then say OK it's going to reboot now very soon it's going to come back you no need to worry just I'm going to keep this ping continues see it's rebooting now come back that's it now let's go back to your router again which is admin and password Then after that, again go back to the LAN and click on the general setup. Now I'm going to configure LAN 3, which is associating to VLAN number 20. Then click on detail space and specify the name as VLAN number 20. Then the gateway is 20.1. Then I want to start the DHCP from 20.10. Then I want the pool size will be 100 and the gateway IP address is 20.1. Then after that, the primary is 213.42.2020 and secondary, I'm going to change it as 8.8.8.8. .8 then click OK, say OK now, then click OK. Now keep your command prompt open so that you can able to see the behind the scenes. So now my router is successfully rebooted and it's come back again as much as fast, guys. So quick. Then type the username again, then specify the password. Then after that, say login. Then go back to again LAN and click on the general setup. Now LAN 4 is associated on VLAN number 30. Details page. Then this is for VLAN number 30. Then the IP address is 30.1. Then the DHCP server is going to start from 30.10. Then the gateway is 30.1. Then after that, the DNS is 213.42.2020 and secondary is I'm going to change it as 4.2.2.2. Then click OK now, say OK, say OK. Now see here how quick my router is going to come back. Just I lost only one ping guys. That's it. Now enter the username as admin and password. Then click login. That's it. So, so far, if you go to the LAN and click on the general setup, you can able to see all the interfaces are configured. And each and every LAN is associated to the different VLAN. And we change the IP addresses according to my laptop policy. Now, if you see here, go to the VLAN. This is what we've done the changes, guys. And also, I want to show it to you something interesting, which is my routing table. So, go to the diagnostics and click on the routing table. There, you can able to see the routing table of your Draytech router. So at the moment, 192.168.10 network, 30 network, 20 network, and one network, these all networks are configured and connected to my Draytech router. They are directly connected. And I have a default route towards my ISP. Now what I'm going to do now for verification. So right now I'm going to connect my PC into VLAN number 10. So here I just want to give you some brief idea, guys. If you see here, as I mentioned earlier, so we have a layer 2 switch. Okay, guys. In my layer 2 switch, port number 1 and 2 are belongs to VLAN number 10. Okay, guys. Then port number 3 and 4, let's take port number 3 and 4, or belongs to VLAN number 20. Port number 5 and 6, or belongs to VLAN number 30. Then here, port number 48, I have connected to my Dratek router. Okay, guys. And port number 4. And port number 3, I have connected to my PC for administrative purpose. Now, here what I have done, I configured on layer 2 switch as a tagged port. So the tag port is nothing but which is going to carry the VLANs information, right? And in my Draytek router, I have assigned VLAN number 10. The network is 192.168.10.1. 
and for VLAN number 20, I assigned 192.168.20.1. For VLAN number 30, I have assigned 192.168.30.1. And I have enabled the DHCP as well. for all these three subnets and I have enabled the DNS as well. Okay guys, so now what I am going to do now, if I connect my PC on port number 1, I need to get the IP address from VLAN number 10 and same time I need to get the internet access and also port number 1 is connected to my ISP. Okay guys, in case if I connect my PC on port number 3, I can get the IP address from VLAN number 20 and I need to get the internet access as well. In case if I connect port number 5, then I am going to get the IP address from VLAN number 30 and I need to get the internet access. So this is what I am going to show it to you here in this lab. So let's go and do that. So first of all, what I am going to do now, let's go and connect my PC. So I am going to open the command prompt as well for you to verify. Then after that, I just open ncpa.cpl so that you guys are very much clear what I am trying to do here. So this is my LAN at the moment and what IP address is, can, is there? If you see here 192.168.1.10. So at the moment my PC is in directly connected to Dreadtech router on port number 3. So now as explained to you, I am going to connect it to on my layer 2 switch guys. So before that I just want to start the ping. 192.168. I'm sorry, I need to ping to internet. So right now I'm getting internet guys. So now what I'm going to do, you guys can focus it on this area here. This one. Okay. So now what I'm going to do now, I just remove my cable from port number three in my layer to switch. See here, I lose the connectivity. Right. So now I'm going to connect on my layer to switch on port number one or port number two. Let's go and connect it now. Perfect. I have connected. In case if I connected, if I configured properly, then if my tag is working correctly, then I can able to get the internet and I'm going to get the IP address from 192.168.10 network. Let's go and see here. Now click on the details. You can see here. I got the IP address as 192.168.10.10 and 10.1 is my gateway which is my Dreadtech router and I have a successful internet as well. So now what I am going to do now, I am going to remove my PC from VLAN number 10 and I am going to connect it to VLAN number 20. So which is port number 3 or 4 in my layer 2 switch. Now. Let's see here how quick I am getting the internet guys. What a beautiful. Now see here I got the internet just it's dropped two pings. Just double click on this. Click on the details. Now if you see here 192.168.20.10. So which means I got the IP address from VLAN number 20. And I got the DNS servers as well. And I get the internet as well. Then after that. I am going to connect my PC. I am just removed now. Let's wait for some time because I want to show it to you the request timed out. So now I am going to connect my PC either port number 5 or port number 6 which is belongs to VLAN number 30. So now I connected there. How quick is Tretech man? It's super. Now see that I got the internet. I got the DHCP as well. Just double click on my LAN then click on the details. Now if you see here I can able to see the IP address from VLAN number 30 and I can able to see the DNS server's IP. So right now I'm in VLAN number 30. So this is what, how you are able to configure the tag based VLAN. In case if you want to see the DHCP table, just click on the DHCP table. But by the way, I need to access the router with VLAN number 30. That's why I'm not able to. Now, username is admin and password. Then click login. Now, if you want to check the DHCP, you can just go here, the diagnostics. Then after that, you can able to see here, there is a DHCP table. So now if you see here, the IP address, which I got it from my Dreadtech router and the MAC address of my PC and the lease time as well as my host ID. So 
this is what how you are going to configure tag based VLAN thank you for watching for sales please send us an email sales at datawise.com I request you to everyone please subscribe our YouTube channel which is DVCom